What up? What up? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to season two of All of a Sudden Podcast. I'm Juice. And I'm Nakara. I know it's been a minute, but we back. Y'all been literally asking us when this podcast is coming back, and we, you know, we we kind of dropped the ball. I'm not gonna lie. We we it's been a, it's about a, it's been a, about a, the ball. Is, I think yeah, that's. nah, yeah, we lost the Super Bowl for sure because <laughs> right. it's, it's been about a year and some change mm-hmm. since we uh since we had this podcast. And a lot has a lot has changed since yeah. then. A lot of development. Yeah, talk about it. What's up? Um, well, I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when it really began. Uh, we had the engagement. But they already knew about that. When we got married. I don't think they knew about that part. Yeah. We got married. I mean, they knew it was happening, but they ain't know. They ain't know. Okay, so we had like a small wedding in February of 2022. Mm-hmm. 2 22 is our anniversary. And we keep, look, <laughs> no, um, it was our anniversary. She had to tie me down quick. She couldn't wait. We wanted to move in together. together. My lease was up and his was ending as well. So we wanted to move in together, but we just didn't want to um, Mine was ending? In. I was like, well, we had a, we I feel had a like career. ending is a stretch, but like you, you was ready to leave. Basically, you was ready to end your term. So I guess you could say that, yeah. So we decided to move in together. Um, or we so we got married, pandemic style. When we had our parents, grandparents mm-hmm. present, and yeah, we just did that. And then in June, we had our big wedding. Turn me up. Got pregnant. Hold on, hold on. Wedding. I mean, yeah, that is true. We got pregnant uh, when we moved in together after after the wedding. A lot of people think that we just had a baby. Nah, it was three months after we got right. married. So <laughs> right, so we did, we I did held, all right. I held strong. We did pretty good. I held good. strong. Yeah, but we ended up, yeah, having baby after the June wedding in uh, January. That's January 6th is her birthday, Halo. Y'all probably heard her in the back. Right, she back there. She want to be in the show. Yeah. Um. So our unofficial guests, I guess. Um, yeah. So yeah, we just we had that going on, and yeah. Yeah, we ain't had a normal. Here. We ain't had a normal year since we yeah. like been together. Like as soon as we like got together, we was it just been it just been one thing after another. Mm-hmm. So while y'all was on our heels about a podcast, we was trying to get our life together. Right. But well, I shouldn't say lessons. together. I shouldn't say together. His life was together. I feel yeah. like we were just trying to like catch up with everything it's just i feel like it's just been blessings after blessing and we were just trying to really just enjoy it and take Mm -hmm. on the moment um in that time and this has been a lot of like progression as far as like our lifestyles and stuff we've been um more heavily in the church involved in our involvement with our ministry Mm -hmm. um joseph's planning a tour dang you're telling all my business well there you know that I mean, yeah. Post it on Facebook. I guess. Instagram. What is you? What talk about you? I, I, was, t- go- let me, I, I was going to. Oh, until okay. Interrupted me. Like, but t- I, I, Joseph's I ain't planning a about. tour, and I'm planning. Who I'm writing a book. I'm um, I'm planning some events for Pathways, my nonprofit, and um, what, am I doing anything else? I'm working on a couples ministry with some of our couple friends. Um, if you're interested, and you're Minnesota. Definitely let me know outside of the Twin Cities sounds better. Twin Cities does sound better. <laughs> Minnesota sounds so and really not Caucasian. even just Twin Cities. I feel like nationwide because we have some couple friends that are like in Dallas, are in Austin or mm. California. Yeah. Um, L.A. <laughs> South Dakota. <laughs> Sac. Or we have some. <laughs> We we gonna say that too loud. Yeah. Just, like, so we have some friends all over, and um, eventually we would like to like do some traveling too with mm-hmm. our ministry. So yeah, we've been so I've been planning that. We we both been kind of busy, so not too busy for you. We want to take the time out to still come back and do the podcast. We yeah, haven't man. really done cooking up. Um, we plan to do that though. So I'm, at some point in time, Joseph mm-hmm. doesn't like to cook. So I think that's how he got me because he knew I was good at cooking and I had a. A little enjoyment for it, so 
a little. Many people think that we got together because of cooking up, and at first I was like, no, we was best friends. But I think he was up to something for real. Like, why I gotta be up been, to something? Because you're the one who initiated cooking up, and the whole time you can't even cook. I can cook. I proved in the episode Joseph that I probably could. has cooked in our house since we lived together. Probably all of ten, five times, not even ten, like but five times. Here's the thing. And mind and you, fellas, we, we just renewed our lease, so we've been here for a whole year. Some change. Oh yeah, and I, I'm not even finna sit here and deny to y'all that I that I be cooking. I'm not gonna deny it. I don't have to. The Bible says, "He who finds a wife, hey." Finds a good thing, and good thing is cooking, and she's really good at it. So why would I do it? Why would I do? Why would? Why would I ruin her ministry? She finds joy in cooking meals. Y'all, y'all know this. And and to backtrack, you said that we like you. We like came together during cooking up, but you was feeling me on that, cooking up. Really. Roll the clip. We can we can argue. That's we can we definitely can we can definitely debate. We're not gonna argue. We can debate it. We can, we can debate it for sure. But you know that's we might we might have to dive in into defense, a whole new episode. In my defense, I've never been in front of a camera before, so I was more nervous than anything. So like the gestures I would make, the messing up, the bloopers, like it wasn't because I was feeling Joseph. It was more so of me trying to get acclimated with the camera and be in front of the camera. Listen. So, but he, if he says I was feeling him, I'll take it. That's I whatever makes you sleep good at night, babe. I she, was I was feeling you. Yeah. She feeling me now. All that matters is she feeling me now. It might have took a while, <laughs> but patience is a virtue. Okay, <laughs> and I got time. <laughs> I had time. <laughs> yeah. Right, Halo. Yeah. He was, you, he was low key pursuing me, but we gonna we gonna be there. You know what? That's gonna be episode two. We just gonna talk about we're gonna talk about how everything because we never really addressed like how everything like came to be like on this podcast. For everybody who's new, shout out to y'all, shout out to our new subscribers and everything. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button um and push that push notification, that bell that's right next to the subscribe button so you get notifications every time we post a video because we finna go crazy. And like, you know, like our we likes help too. Yes. Um and, and comment like, and leave a yeah, comment. Don't if you don't like, give us some hate too. Like hate on our hate on us in our comments. No facts. For real. <laughs> we we love the haters too. So definitely be in the comments then um both ways. Like and comment. Yeah. Yes. We you. like haters too. <laughs> you got a couple of Yes, those, huh? we do. We got a couple of haters. Yeah. Since I, we start our relationship, it's just like just been a bunch of those stalkers, haters, mm. all of the above. Yeah, so a lot of y'all have been asking us um, to bring the podcast back, but the subject they wanted to talk about was what is it like being young and married? Because, you know, we live in, we in that age range, we in that gray area age range where, like, people don't really see marriage like that at our, at our age. So I'm like, oh, that's a that was a good topic. So we we heard y'all, and we go we go talk about it a so little bit. So maybe I think first of all, before we get into that, what's what it's like being young and married? I think it'll be a good thing since we haven't really talked about our relationship much on the podcast. Mm. We should go into like how we start our relationship, how we fell in love, and um, how we came to the idea of marriage. Okay. How does that sound to you? Yeah, okay. I mean we we kind of touched on it. In season one, about the the courting thing, we talked. We had a whole episode, but we yeah, never talked about oh, yeah, our story. Courting. Yeah, our story. Okay. Yeah. So, but I you want to do that on this episode? Yeah, I think we should. Just let's let's do it. I mean, because okay. I think it'll give it, us a it'll give them the uh, intro to our relationship. Yeah. And what it looks like, you yeah. know. So. So that means we don't have to talk about y'all because before I talk about it, I do get a little shooken up, a little emotional because it is a good. I mean, it's a good story, but it's like it's a heartfelt one. So. And because um, your boy guy gang, he, he don't. It's I think it was all. Let's 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 start there. First of all, he don't like it was Dang. all. It was all designed by God truly, and um, I just thank God that I'm here, and uh, you know, and I found the one that was that was designed for me, and mm. um, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start. So, <clears throat> Joseph and I we met um back in twenty. 2018, maybe 2018, and one of those two. Yeah, let's say definitely like can uh, help me out here, babe. Like if I'm missing something or mm. if I'm off. Yeah, I feel like. But we we met. Um, he was my Lyft driver. He says that he didn't drive Lyft as much, and it was just like a kind of a one time thing for him, which was like crazy. I didn't say that. No. 
No, it was so I had I had moved back from LA. Right. And I needed some I needed I needed to make money while I was waiting to go into twin season. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't a full like a full time thing or anything. No. Like that. Well, okay. I mean it was full time at the time. Like right. because I didn't have anything going into like once I moved back, I didn't have no job. So I was like Lyft was the first thing. Quick cash. Yeah. So oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So anyways, I didn't know this, but we basically he was my Lyft driver. Um, I was headed to work. He picked me up and um he was playing some gospel music. It was Kirk Franklin. I don't remember what song it love was. Love Theory, yeah. He, he says it was Love Theory. I don't know, but anyways, it was Kirk it Franklin. It was because it just came out at the time. And I was like, What? Lift driver playing gospel music? What? Turn up. Like, and I told him, like, turn this up. Like, this is dope. Because, you know, you're going into work, you want some good energy. So, mm-hmm. so, so I, we, uh, that led us to a conversation. We started talking about God and um, which led us also to us discussing our like the things that we we do in life. Um, and I was talking to him about how I was planning a woman's event conference mixer, whatever. And he was planning a comedy show. We just uh, offered each other support. I said I would post his um, flyer on my Instagram and he would post mine. Actually, I think at the time. It wasn't a flyer for the comedy show. I think it was like a, a swim party or something like that. So it was like a pool party he was playing, not a comedy show. But I think he was like hosting it or something. But anyways, um, so that happened. We Then we exchanged each other's Instagrams. If I haven't mentioned that already, sorry. Um, but anyways, we, we, exchanged, we exchanged each other's Instagrams. And um, what happened after that? And then we just started connecting. We started talking. Um just offering support. Um, I was dating someone at the time, so he would, like, give me relationship advice, and he was dating someone at the time, so I'd give him relationship advice. Uh, no, I wasn't. You were, you were, you were I was dating. in the, I was in the game. You were in the game, but, wait, what what does that mean? I was in the pool. Like, I was available. You weren't. You were, like, barely available, because you were actually living with someone at the time, so. Right. Yeah. So it was like they were, like, closing out. No, we was, was done. We right. was done at that point. Right, they were like. <laughs> but anyway, so we were we would give each other relationship advice and stuff like that. I was in a time of healing also, and uh, he was as well. And um, friendship was pretty much just that, like uh, accountability partners. Um, we just kind of talked on the phone a lot, hung out here and there, um, and it was just it was genuine, like a genuine friendship. So fast forward to 2020 or 2019, one of those years. No, it was definitely 2020. So I broke my leg. God, I just, I just hate this. But anyway, I broke my leg. My, um, I did a trimillar fracture, and that's so why I broke three bones, um, one in my leg um, and two in my ankle. And um, as I, as I mentioned, I was dating someone, not dating, but like talking to somebody at the time she was dating i was not i was not dating that was not dating that was like it was fun if he's watching this right now <laughs> he knows it was dating no he was he would say it wasn't dating actually yeah now because you with me but no he no he wouldn't he wouldn't say that he would say that we weren't dating because we weren't dating actually we did not go on one date we just had fun anyways um like hung out Okay, no, keep going. You Watch good. movies and, like, just cheap stuff. Please, don't, please don't add this in there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no shade. But, um, so I broke my leg. I was talking to somebody at the time. They were just not as supportive as you'd kind of expect for someone, like, you are friends with or whatever. Um, and I just remember looking up and just, like, seeing Joseph, like, Sorry, juice. At this point, it don't even matter no more. <laughs> I just remember looking up, and all I could see was just juice, like, um, and some other relatives that. So I, I always this is my favorite quote that I use a lot of. If you know me, then you know this. Reciprocity is not through man. I say this a lot because I believe that God is going to provide for you. Um, after you doing what's on your heart and just doing the right thing, God's gonna provide for you. Um, indirectly so it's never going to come from 
so you should never expect it to come from the person that you're serving, but just know that the that the man you serve, the God you serve, is going to provide in other directions. So, although I uh, Joseph and I relationship, it wasn't really transactional because a lot of, oftentimes, like he would come to me, or if I need something, he would answer the phone for me. Um, and yeah, I do. You know, I do this. I do some things for him, but I just don't feel like I. I've done as much for him as a friend looking back um, as much as I do. I'm sorry. As much as I do now, obviously, because we're married and I feel like I've made that up. <laughs> but anyways, so it was like our relationship wasn't as transactional. So I just looked up and the um, I just remember just seeing him present for me a lot, like taking me to my doctor's appointments, coming just to show face and support for my healing, um, my birthday party and my. I really like took that birthday really seriously um, because of the fact that I had not only made it to that point, but I just I've accomplished um, a lot without a father um, at the age of 25. But anyways, so a lot of my friends have known that um, yet still Joseph was the one that came and supported me and helped showing up and um, set up and, and all that. So thank you again for that. But um. It was it was that moment that I had realized that the love that I had for Joseph was like it was strong, but I couldn't it wasn't like a intimate or like a or like a um a crush thing. It wasn't like it wasn't anything like that. I said I I felt like I felt like I loved him like a family member or like something like that, but I couldn't explain all I knew that I just couldn't put a gender attached to it. And that, um, after through prayer, God revealed to me that I just loved his soul and, and that the love that I had for him was just, was just stronger than, um, anything that I've ever experienced before. And as I expressed that, I cried because it was just like, once again, it was just so powerful. My body couldn't even just grasp the fact that, um, how much I really, he really meant to me at the time. So we talked about that. And then um, he said, we pray, we pray on that and we talk about it and see where, where it goes in the future. But um, as far as relationship, we just wanted to be sure um, and, and uh, be clear about where God would, would take our relationship. Um, whether or not it was just like a, you know, a, brother like we're like we're closer we're or whatever or like a family member or we're like pursuing a relationship and I had told him I said you know what I've been in a lot of enough I've been in enough relationships <laughs> I've been I don't want to say a lot I just feel like I've been in enough relationships as far as dating goes and that wasn't something that I just wanted to pursue at the time like I said the next person that I am in a relationship with it's going to be my husband. This at the service at church, um, I remember shout out to Pastor Michael, Michael Grace. He did he spoke on uh first Corinthians thirteen. Right? Or second Corinthians? Mm -hmm. It's thirteen. Okay. You know if you whisper I like right. they can still they can still hear you. <laughs> so I'm not a Bible thumper for real. I'm working on it. But like I'm working on like remembering my verses, but obviously Anyways, um, dang. Okay. Anyways, so it was it was that chapter of Corinthians, and it's and it's obviously the love is patient, love is kind. You know, everyone knows that one. Um, <clears throat> and um, where, where am I going with this? So he preached on that, and I remember like there was a difficult time that I had in my life where I was getting to know love what it looks like for um the for people that I was loving and as well as loving myself. Yeah, you took up like the whole episode on that. I don't even know. I can't even really follow you up on that joint. Uh other than yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I normally I'm, don't talk this much either, so I I think I did pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I feel like yeah, you do be talking a lot now. Like when we be having conversations you with people, off on me. I guess I have that effect on. Hopefully, I didn't people. put nobody to sleep. I was, I was for to make a joke, but I was like, Nah, never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Nah, um, no. Pretty much everything you said, yeah, it was 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 right. 
really. Uh, we both we both were like, our next relationship gonna be our last one, and that's it. Like, mm-hmm. you know, and I kind of told God that. Um, and it's it's crazy how you know, it's not like you put pressure on God, but you just like instead of it was, it was more like I was like, all right, God, this is kind of something that I'm demanding from you as a follower of Christ, as somebody who's gonna live out what you called me to do. This, this I'm putting a stamp on it. Like I'm not finna. You gotta show me that this wraps for me. Otherwise, I'm not going. And you know, it happened in perfect timing, and the the process was amazing. Um, it wasn't amazing at the time, but it was in looking back, it was amazing. It was rough. And so, yeah, because yeah, you know, yeah. we we both had our <laughs> we both had our issues. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, and, and you know, it was, it was a, it was a, it was a no brainer when the time came and God just made it very clear. Um, just like I had asked him to, like, I had literally asked him, like, you, like, you got to make it plain for me in front of my eyes. You know, I'm going to put this blanket down and when I walk outside, it better not be wet, but the ground better be wet. You know, if those of y'all that read your Bible, we're talking about Gideon. Um, <laughs> for those of y'all who don't, he just was doing miracles. Um, and so yeah, it was just one of those things where that's 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 what I had asked and that's what happened and we was like, you know, and now it worked out and we married. We've been married for a year. We got a little baby girl and uh we just being faithful. And so I I love the process. So next week we're going to talk about, you know, we'll talk about, you know, what is the actual pro- like the actual life of marriage, what that's like for us, you know, cuz we learning. Um we growing, you know what I'm saying? And that's I think that was the biggest yeah. thing is like is like growing, learning to grow with somebody for a lifetime, you know, really? and then yeah, because I was gonna say that um, it's different. It hits different when you can actually see the progress, the progress um, that you have. Like we've we've come a long way. We had different stages, and each time, each stage, we've been more intentional about how we treat each other, how we what what we're saying, how we're saying it, and how we're spending time together. Mm. Being more creative in our relationship. And that's really just what it takes um, to be married in general. Keep making it fresh, cause you, cause it's gonna be a, you're gonna have a new person constantly. Like you're never gonna be married to the same person, um, if you know what I mean. Like Joseph is is continuing to evolve, and so am I. You know, we're we're both going stepping into new um, avenues and new lanes, and he's continuing to grow. And you know that you can grow forward, and you can go you can grow backwards. Like we have good days, and we have bad days. And the the key point, once again, is just to continue to make it fresh and continue to get to know each other um, for for where you're at in the moment. We should put your name at the front of this podcast. All of a sudden, with Nakara and Juice. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, but yeah, that's a, that'll be next week. You know, because we yeah. we hit our we hit our time limit on on that segment. But it's time for the it's time for a little fun. We gonna have a little fun. So. Um, I watch T Pain's uh, Nappy Boy podcast a lot, so I kind of stole this intro I don't idea. Know what he's getting ready to pull out his podcast. I, well, it's just the it's just the effect. I took the effect from his podcast. So, um, hold on, here we go. You ready? All right. Ready. You gotta be quiet though, because it, it puts the effect on both our mics. So we I haven't figured that part out yet. Are right, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, and for our game. On this episode, well, this season actually is gonna be it's gonna be a little fun. So, it's time for our new game, a little game I like to call this or that. Insert funny music. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. Or this is what's that? Where's that? Where yeah, that? yeah, 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 yeah. So that <laughs> some of a little game called this or that. Uh, we I had to sing it because I'm not trying to get copyright flagged. We're not gonna put the song on there. We're not trying to get copyright flagged. Oh, I thought you were actually gonna put the song on. That's why I was. Quiet. Nah, no, 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 no. Because we trying to, you know, trying to monetize. We trying to monetize. Okay. So we ain't got the rights. So you so. can get with this, or you can get with that. Facts. Ooh. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> All right. So this is so it's gonna be a quick round. For for the or not a quick round. It's gonna be four questions, but we'll break it down. You know, I'll ask you, you'll give your answer, then I'll give my answer. If we feel like debating about it, we can. If not, we'll move on to the next one. Okay. Cool. All right, so first category, first question. Glizzies or hamburgers? Hot dogs. Of course you would like hot dogs. 
Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. No. Glizzy Goblin. Okay. Um, well. No, don't try to take it back now. It's too late. Once you say it, you can't take it back. Why hot dogs? You can. Okay, can I take it back? Nah. Please. Nope. Okay. I'm taking it back. You can't. That's not how the game works. Why, 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 why you don't want to have hot dogs no more? Okay, you know what? Fine, I'm gonna stick to hot dogs. Yeah. Because I like, I love me a good spicy pola sausage. Like, ooh, mm, mouth is watering. Like, just a regular pola. You don't even have. You don't even need much. You just get you a nice juicy um, hot link, mm-hmm. and make sure it's big too. Okay. <laughs> I'm so immature. <laughs> you are. That's how. <laughs> That's how we go. That's but how. But you know, you guys know what I'm saying, like, like the, like the bigger ones, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah, you said yours. But you really just don't need much. Like, you could just use a little mustard, and that's it. Mm-hmm. You don't need a lot. So I, I'd, I'd say that's better than any burger because you, with a burger, you gotta dress it up. You gotta have this and that. Like you gotta dress. I it see up what you real. did there. But. <laughs> this or that, <laughs> right? You can get this or that, but no, like so. That's what I would say. What, what would you? You already know what I'm gonna say. Oh, hamburger. It's a, it's against the law for me to say glizzies. Okay. He can eat hamburgers every day. I eat hamburgers every day, all day, no problem. I love hamburgers. They're just good. Cheese I can't. Burgers. I mean, cheese. Burg- have cheese. They don't have to have cheese on it. I, I've never seen you eat a burger without cheese. I've eaten burgers. Let them last. Them last. Three burgers I ate was without cheese. Oh. Because we ain't have it. Yeah, so he made three burgers. They were not even that they were like this big, bro. They were like they were like sliders almost. A little bit bigger than White Castle burgers. It doesn't matter. I'm growing. Uh yeah, yeah you're a outward. hater. You said what? Hmm? You said outward? Alright. I've been in the gym going he has crazy. Been in the gym. Going crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know, I had it. that dad bod. Yeah, I had a dad bod. I'm not going to lie. When she got pregnant, so did I. That's the way I see it. Mm-hmm. You ready? This is good. All right. No debates. All right. This this will be a good one. Cruises or straight vacations? Like going straight to a destination or like through from a plane or something? Or would you take a cruise there? I feel like that could be like both. Nah, bro. This or that. You got to answer it. You got five seconds. Five. I would say cruises because then you can go to more places. But... If I was to say destinations, it because you can be there longer. Valid. Like you don't wanna you wanna dive into that more? Like you'll be there longer, so like you could do more. Yeah. The only thing I didn't like about or I don't like about cruises is like you can you're only there on the island for like five minutes. It's more like seven out eight hours, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's like, you know, it doesn't give you enough that. time to like really explore. They a lot of times like you have to go through the cruise line to find excursions, or you have to wait till you get there. Mm-hmm. Um, no, or you to can the destination. Go. I mean, but you, if I think the smart thing to do is like if you look it up ahead of time, right, right, and get connected. But sometimes you just don't have that kind of connection to where you can find. That's why God created man to create Google, so you can have that connection. I, yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen anything in Alaska so far. Well, that's that's different. I don't think it's much We're out there. We're going on Alaskan cruise soon. Yeah, I don't think it's much out there than scenery. Like, people just go on Alaskan cruise just for scenery. I think that's why my mom wants to go. Okay. We really doing it because my mom really want to go. But Alaska is one of the last three states that I need to visit. So I haven't been to Alaska. I haven't been to Rhode Island. Or I haven't been to Maine. Those are the only three states I haven't been to. So okay. I'm not going so, off this I mean, summer. But cruise, like, I like the all-inclusive idea, which mm-hmm. you can also have in person. Or not in person, but on. What, what was the other on site like, vacation? Yeah, like straight there. Yeah, airplane. Right. So you can you I like the all inclusive idea. Yeah. But but I also love being on the water. That's why I, so I, that's why I would choose being on a cruise because yeah. being on water is just so peaceful. It just kinda gives you a different perspective on life. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you're you're just leaving everything, you know, all the all the norm and literally just on a boat. And you can just, I uh, just love looking out on the balcony and just watching the water pass by where there's nothing mm-hmm. around. It's just, it's a beautiful scene. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Cruises, I mean, the last you time I talked to y'all, I was going on. the reality. Yeah, the last time I talked to everybody on, on YouTube and stuff, 
I had taken my first cruise, and I that's the only way I want to travel. Like I love cruises. Uh, I could do I could do without staying in one place for five seven days. Now don't get me wrong, like I'll I'm flattered. I'll still I'll still like because I definitely had something to do with that. No, you had everything to do with that. <laughs> so um, I will. That's he who finds a wife find a good thing. That's all I'm saying. Upgrade, never downgrade. But yeah, like I would still do like stay vacations like like Mexico. I love Mexico. But I love the fact that you can just go there for the day and then you get to go somewhere new. Like you can't like for me, I can get bored after two to three days in the mm-hmm. same spot. But now like with a cruise, you get to go multiple places and it's it's food galore. Mm-hmm. Like it's food all over the place. And it's just like it's a lot of stuff to do. You meet new people on a boat because you're spending time with these people. You start to recognize people like, yo, you're the dude from, you know, like right. when you do the game shows or whatever they have on the cruises. And, like, you start to bond with people right. that something you can't do when you're, like, on a stay, like, a stay-in vacation because it's, like, you're, it's new people all the time, it's which is cool. bonding with people, building relationships and leaving it. Yeah. It. And it's, like, in the middle of the ocean, ain't no racism. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody, like, legit, like, everybody is there to have fun. Like, nobody, like, discriminates against you because right. all the staff are from all over the world. You know what I'm saying? And it's, like... It's super dope to meet people that like. There's no are inconvenience because yeah. like, you really have nowhere to go. Exactly. Like you don't have. You nowhere can't to beef. Eat it's here. like I can't beef with you because I'm here with you for like five days. Right. Now maybe I don't know. Maybe the two to three day vacations. Maybe they be beefing all the time because like I'm not going to see you again. But like the seven, the seven nights be like, yo, everybody's cool. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's there to have a good time, and mm-hmm. it's just fun, bro. And it's like, did I mention the food? I think I talked about <laughs> the food is we just had hamburgers every day. Guys. Every day. <laughs> Every day that, that on both cruises, world. on that both cruises, <laughs> no, like in a perfect world, what would you eat? Every, that was his perfect world. Burgers, man, they had options. <laughs> right, they had good options. You want a double? You want a single? You want a triple? Just <laughs> give me. I'll try a double today, and I'll get a triple tomorrow. <laughs> like that's how I love. So cruises is definitely the move. All right, so yeah. I think we both agreed on that one. That was good. That was a good one. That was a good one. All right, I feel like I know what you're gonna say on this one, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Theme parks or water parks? Water but, parks. That, right. Why? You're not going you're not going you got to well, explain I, why. As I mentioned, I love being on water, by water, in water, near water, all water. Mm. Definitely water. <laughs> no, I just love water parks. I love slides. I just I love like everything about a water park. My favorite thing is the lazy river. It's just getting in the tube and just going down the lazy river. So I have a quick story, guys. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we like, you should be dinner. all story. You should be all storied out at okay, this point. Okay, quick, but quick one. So there was this time, uh, Fourth of July, to be exact, where I was invited to a kid's birthday party, and I literally went out and found kids to bring to this birthday party just so I can go swimming. And by first of all, let me tell you whose birthday party it was before y'all think I was a creep. It was my brother's. So chill out, chill out. I'm not. I ain't creeping like that. What kids did you find to bring to that birthday party? My goddaughter and uh, it was somebody else. Oh, yeah, she was there. It was only one person. So I brought my goddaughter and my niece. That's what I did. That's what I brought. And um, literally the next day, all the kids left from the birthday party. And here I am. Me included, by the way. (laughs) Joseph I left, left too. too. I'm Joseph, like, even my goddaughter left. Like y'all, it was it was like that. So yeah. I'm here. I am still, mind you, I'm pregnant, and I'm just on the lazy river, just going around a bunch of times. Like Joseph's calling me, like, "Babe, you, where you at? You you gonna come home?" Or I'm like, "No, nah, I got a couple more hours on this on this little pass." Because I had to pick her up, by the way. So I went all the way. It was it yes, was like a 25 minute drive. Yes. Because I'm like, I'm kind of over it. Like if y'all from <laughs> if y'all in Minnesota, y'all know Great Wolf Lodge. It just smelled like chlorine all day. Chlorine and bad kids. And I was like, you know what? I'm good. Like I, I wasn't worried about But she wasn't worried about none of that. <laughs> she was like, listen, I'm here, and I'm here to have a good time. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. And But she was there for a long, a long time. time. I was she there was, for a good time and a long she time. She was there last night, and then we did fireworks, and we went back to the hotel, and then she woke up and went straight back to the water park. And I was like, I will catch you. Just call me when you when you're ready to go, and I'll come get you. Yeah. So that's that's my love language. Yeah. Water parks. <laughs> that's a good you? that's a good one though. I don't know. Honestly. I feel like you say amusement parks because all of all the times that I've asked you to not even ask. I've or yeah, all the out of all the times I've asked you to like go to a water park, I've never had a bay you to go to amusement amusement park before. And um you like 
roller coasters and rides been, and stuff. Have we been to Valley an amusement Fair. park together? Valley Fair. Oh. So remember, I went I to the Splash, 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 Splash. Soak uh, City. Uh, Soak City. Yeah. I think it's Splash City. What's that? I don't know what that is. You was just talking. This is Splash City. I just don't know where it's at. But anyways, um, yeah, Soak City. You didn't want to do that. No, because it was, it was, at the time I was, we was just there for. We was there with somebody else though, like yeah, for somebody Devante. else's thing. I think it was Devonte and my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, it was fun. Uh, yeah, I was. I think I would say theme parks. Yeah. Like I love roller coasters. I love that thrill. Even though I'm terrified of heights, but I do roller coasters. Other than the power tower, I can't do. I can't do like the high up and then straight down. Right. But everything else is cool. Right. For me, I think it's like not even so much being up high. I think it's just the feeling in my stomach that I get that I don't like. When you, when you go when you drop, yeah, and your stomach like literally drop too. But I hear the older you get, the the harder the it is it to like yeah. enjoy theme. Ooh. Like I don't know. Uh-uh. So I I haven't been. I'm going to go this summer to see if I still got it. Mm-hmm. But if I don't, you know, next time we'll come back and I'll be like, I like water parks because I do love water. I love I love I could be a water all day like. My friends don't understand because I'm like, I want to go scuba diving. I want to do all this stuff. And they're just like, well, you crazy. And I'm like, I just, I don't know. Call me Aqua Negro. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, okay. All right, we're going to move on. All right, so this is the last one. Last one. Are right, you ready? This one probably going to be hard for you. OG Power or Power Book 2? I think that camera went off, but definitely OG Power. Yeah. Definitely. Why you say that? Because Omari Hardwick. He was the reason of, for power. And they killed him. And there's like literally no more power. But I still watch it because I don't know. I feel like I'm just trying to gain closure in hopes that he just come back. But we all know that's not going to happen. We do. But I just. But do we? But. <laughs> yeah. I guess. So I just don't watch it anyways. Without so you don't think the storyline is? You don't think the storyline is up there? It's cool. I mean, it's not bad. But yeah. I just, if I would say that I had a preference, I would definitely prefer OG Power. No facts. Because Ghost. I don't think, well, Power Book 2 is called Ghost, so you got to be careful how you do that. I'm just playing. I would say, I would say, I would, I would agree with you. OG Power only be, and I'm not saying that, I'm saying it only because one, Ghost ain't even been out, or Power Book 2 ain't even been out that long to even, like, really compete. But we all know why. You you don't even care. Like, even if Power Book 2 was great, if it was better than the OG Power, you would still pick Power because you're just obsessed with Omari Hardwick. I can't argue with you there. Yeah. But no, OG Power is fire because I but do. obsession is crazy, though. I ain't definitely not obsessed. Okay. Obsession I mean, is I, that new movie, Swarm. That's Obsession. I feel like that's that is extreme. I haven't even watched it. I've just seen been seeing like people. No, it. yeah, I've been seeing. They've been saying it's like an aggressive version of the Beehive, but mm-hmm. no, I, I haven't watched it either. I've been seeing like because I follow both of the actors on Instagram and just mm-hmm. I've been seeing like the behind the scenes stuff. I don't know. I feel like it's too aggressive for me. So yeah. I don't think that's what you call obsessed. Obsession is, ag- is aggressive though. I guess. That's yeah, you can say that. You can crazy. say that. Like, I, I don't think I will obsess over You're not him. obsessed, but you, Except for you're thirsty. I love, I, I love Hermione. I would hope that you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. OG, I, I like OG. The, the only thing, the only Biggest thing. stalker. The only, well, see, for me, like, because I'm a real gangster. Like, I'm a real thug in these streets. So I, I, I like power. But I would pick, I would pick Tommy's show over. Of course. Over, uh those only because i mean the drama and like the storyline and the drama is cool but like right. like tommy is one of my favorite characters because he's a he's he gets straight to the point he loyal he gangster he gets straight to the point like every yeah. everything else is too much drama for me like right. ghost life too much drama for me mm-hmm. Tariq, way too much drama for me i, mean, I ain't even started like liking Tariq until he got his own beef, show the, yeah i like i like people fighting. just getting straight to it right sell that yayo and shootouts. blink people down you feel me <laughs> Right, right, right. Okay, that's that's not the wrong. <laughs> no, you was no. <laughs> but I'm a real thug, so I like real thug stuff. I don't leave that drama at home. Okay. He a Christian thug. When it come to these, yes, that's what I like to call myself. I'm a <laughs> Christian thug. Because when it come to these streets, we do it real. 
But then I still pray for you, you know, because I live my life through these people. Because I'll be like, that's I feel like that's why those shows are so successful because like people want to be in the street. Man, when y'all get out, no, no, no. But for real, I think that's why like all the power shows are so successful because like people want to live that life, but they don't want to live that life. So we live that life through other people. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was younger, you know, a lot of things we did, we didn't have a choice. Next, what's the next question? (laughs) (laughs) There ain't no next question. That's it. Okay. So we ended on we ended on real thug life. That's the way I'm going out. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no, thug but, life, drop the mic and walk no, off. But this, thank y'all for watching. Yeah. No, you can do it. You can do, <laughs> I did the intro so you could do the outro. I'm over here, my voice changing everything. But no, thank y'all for watching and yeah. tuning in. Um We apologize for the wait. We uh, I genuinely can't apologize. I had a lot going on. Like I'm sure y'all would have had me waiting too. Cause if y'all had to go through what I had to go through, yeah. I mean, um, we could have made time, but you know, we just we you, you know, know we didn't want to overwhelm ourselves. Life was just lifing, and you know, sometimes life was just lifing. That should be take, the name of it. Take the good and bad. Life be life and and uh, you know, and just kind of swing with the punches and keep moving forward. Obviously, but yes, life be lifing. That's gonna be the title of this show today. But yeah, but I'm yeah, I'm excited for our next for our next um episode Mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about more of the transition with with married life as far as what it's like being married um as a young person Mm -hmm. um for me he joseph's not young at all he's he's gonna be 30 y'all but um you're right around the corner first of all i'm gonna be 28 that's what i'm gonna be yeah i'm I'm and not I'm, in the, the old boat yet. You finna, you're not even finna be able to be in young adult ministry anymore. That's cap. That's super cap. I am young adult ministry. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Ain't nobody come here to see you, Otis. Right, exactly. <laughs> no, but um, I troll. But anyways, I just, I was going to say, um, yeah, as, as being a, a younger couple, like, what it's like. We'll talk about that. And um, there's something, there's something I want to kind of address. We ain't got time. No, I'm talking next time. Oh. But we'll leave that for for then. That's when I will announce it. Whatever. Yeah, we'll announce it? I have a surprise for Joseph. What? All right, bro. We got to get up out of here because she out here. <laughs> she playing too much. So we appreciate y'all for watching the podcast. Like I said, I'm apologizing on behalf of both of us mm-hmm. for the wait. You know, it's been a while, but it was definitely worth it. And we're going to get straight into it. This whole season going to be full of, like, a bunch of, like, it's going to be f- fun stuff, but we also going to talk about real stuff. Shoot, we might even have guests on this thing. You know, we 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 got a little capacity, and we got a little room on this couch for another guest. So we might have guests on the show. You know, we we trying to find bigger and better ways. So we are going to be dropping episodes every other Friday, okay? So every other Friday we're dropping episodes on the YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. Make sure you share it, like it, leave a comment about what you think, or even leave a comment about what something we should talk about this season. You know, we want to make sure we want to make sure y'all feel included. Um, but we also want to just show y'all love, man, because we wouldn't even be where we at without y'all. So we appreciate y'all. You know, invite mm-hmm. your friends. We got to get these watch hours up. <laughs> yes, so put this definitely. on replay. Okay. <laughs> watch the old stuff, please. <laughs> right. But we'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Y'all be smooth. Have a good night because it's all of a sudden podcast. All of a sudden, you changed my life with your love. Gave me a heart and so you trust me. And now we really out here making moves.